Welcome back, Star Gamers. Ah, oh, it's good to be back, isn't it? Halo Wars 2 is the Halo fix that you have been craving, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy to be bringing you this video because I've been playing Halo Wars 2 and it's amazing. I've been loving it. It's been eagerly anticipated by me. I actually pre-ordered it for all the bonuses and playing it early and all that stuff. I got the digital version and it's really two games. You get the Xbox version, which is the preferred method, I say, of playing video games. And you can also play it on PC, which I might try because you know some of these missions are extremely challenging and I think I'd like to cheat. I think I'd like to use my mouse and keyboard and, uh, and get some of these missions done on uh, something uh, a little harder than easy anyway and I haven't done I haven't finished the campaign so far other youtubers they'll rush through the campaign uh, just so that uh, you know they'll play it on easy just so that they can get through it and make their review and you know what I still do this for fun I'm not uh, you can watch the other youtubers for their reviews but I'm just enjoying the game and as far as I see it, you don't really enjoy the game if you rush through it on easy. What's supposed to happen is you're supposed to fail, you fail the mission, and you don't change the difficulty. You try harder, you try different things, you get better. And that's enjoying the game, I say. So, the game also is just gorgeous. You're looking at one of the cutscenes made by Blur, and I have to say, I... I crave these cutscenes. I just, I want to see more. I really want to see more. Uh, the game handles beautifully. It's all intuitive. It, of course, it's a strategy game, so you're going to have to apply some brain power. My strategy so far has been amassing a huge army and then marching that army over to wherever I need it. But I'm going to have to up my game on that, so to speak. There's all kinds of different game modes I have yet to try, the blitz and all that. All that stuff looks exciting. I've got something like 25 game packs to unload, to, up, to open up and, and see how they make some decks and stuff. Um, but back to those cutscenes. I mean, they are really fantastic. Wouldn't you like to see a movie? I would totally, I would go see a Halo movie in the theater if it was made by Blur. Like, is that... 343 are you listening can you can you make us a movie Microsoft like I still want a Halo movie I've wanted one since the Halo the first Halo and these just look amazing now the if you remember reach that reach cartoon came with Halo 5 what a disappointment that was four episodes and uh, there it was just bad directing and you know the stylized cartoon of it wasn't that bad but um, with with all the other disappointing things about it, the cartoon just didn't ho hold up. Uh, I mean, it, for a geek, it's it's part of the Halo lore, and you watch it. Although I've had never had a desire to watch it again, like some of the other Halo movies, like um, Forward Unto Dawn. But if you made if Blur made a movie as good as these cutscenes. Good directing, good writing, good animation, holy crap, you'd have a classic on your hands. You'd have a blockbuster on your hands. 343, do it. Make a movie. Make a Halo movie with Blur. Is it that expensive? Is it going to be that expensive? I mean, uh, Star Wars, Rebels, and Clone Wars, like Disney just pumped those things out and they weren't that bad. Uh, so, I mean, wow. Like this animation. And you can't see it on YouTube, but it's all 60 frames per second just so crystal clear and just like look at those the directing is phenomenal i mean slow motion and everything and the, the angles and all that like this is just this is this is beautiful i mean every time i play a mission i'm just hoping hoping that there's going to be a cutscene there isn't always a cutscene. I know these must have been super expensive, but still, still, it's what I'm craving. I mean, I'm not that huge of an RTS fan. I played all the RTSs starting with Dune way back, the very first RTS. And I played a whole bunch of these, and you know, RTSs kind of killed 
the first the uh, turn-based games like XCOM and uh, and Civilization, but those games came back too. So you know the real-time strategy. They're great. I'm still waiting for a homeworld type game. I would love, you know, if you read the Halo books, the Halo books have a lot of fleet maneuvers and fleet battles and stuff like that. I am like, the Halo universe is built for a fleet combat game, just like homeworld. Like I want a space-based real-time strategy, not necessarily, you know, the whole, um, you know, mining and building your base up and producing stuff and, and all that. I mean, that stuff's okay, but uh, Homeworld didn't involve that much of it. And uh, I would just, I would love to fly the, the Forward Unto Dawn and the Spirit of Fire and the Pillar of Autumn and, you know, all those Covenant ships. They've even got a board game like that. I would love to see a, uh, a fleet combat RTS type game out in space. That's that's the final piece missing from Halo. Um, and, you know, if you put the kind of resources that uh, Halo Wars 2 had into it, I think it'd be a great success. I mean, I'd be all over a game like that. So, that's what I think of Halo Wars 2. I hope you get the game. I hope you appreciate it. I hope to see you in the Blitz mode when I get around to figuring out how exactly that works. I mean, it looks interesting. I mean, all those cards and everything, they look delicious, delicious. I just want to open them up. I've seen people opening them up uh, on YouTube and, and they, they look quite delicious. And you can see um, also the how the game looks. I mean, you're up in the air all the time. And that's, that's the other thing that struck me about this. People complain and it's mostly bullshit. I, I hate the whole boots on the ground. Well, the whole boots on the ground thing is complete bullshit because here's a game where I'm floating up in the sky the whole time and all I can think about is man I just want to be down in the Master Chief armor in that Molnir armor down on the ground kicking up a storm and just annihilating things maybe jumping into one of those uh, mechs down there or, or the, um, the airborne units and all that sorry I love the original Halo but this is excellent this this just gives me my fix that I need to wait for Halo 6. So that's about all I got to say there, Star Gamers. Tell me what you think. Go in the comments and uh, let me know if you're so inclined. We're also on Twitter. I'm celebrating 1,000 followers as of yesterday. Woohoo! So thank you all. And, you know, find me on Twitter and follow. Um, say hi, say hello, leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Oh, and don't forget, punch that subscribe button right in the face. Just punch it right in the face. And I would definitely appreciate a subscribe. So lock in coordinates to stargamer.space. That's my own little website. And punch it.